Joining us at the HT Leadership Summit is Deepak Jain, Dean of Business School INSEAD based in France, who will speak to us about higher education in India. Deepak, thanks for joining us. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. So as someone who works for a school where you've already set up campuses in other parts of the world, Singapore, Israel, Abu Dhabi, what advice do you have for Indian business schools to make their schools more globally relevant? For Indian business schools, they need to create alliances or partnerships with schools all over the world. And this is the right time to do that because many schools outside India, they are looking for partners in India. But rather than wait for those schools to approach, Indian schools need to be more proactive. And they should go out and say how they can work together. And working together would involve, number one, student exchange. See, right now people still don't know how easy it is to come and live in Hyderabad or Delhi. So you can get exchange students come and when they find their experience very good, they can go back in the country and say it's a lovely school, you, you should go and spend a year or two years there. That is one thing that leading business schools in India are already doing. They are trying to attract foreign students. Yes, but I don't think the volume is very large or the number by volume, I mean the number of students coming is very big. You need to have a critical mass of students. The second thing is faculty exchange. You need to bring faculty who would come and spend three months, six months in your school or even a month or a week. But the main thing is for people to experience India. And then they can go back and tell their colleagues that you should come and spend the time. And the third time is for Indian business schools to connect with global companies in India so that their executives, when they are looking for training, they would select the Indian schools to come. So what can be done to attract these foreign students and faculty to India? Focus on research. What I mean is a way to attract good students and good faculty to India is not just for them to come and sit in the classroom for students and for teachers to teach, but how they can research this environment. Because when you look at the top universities of the world, the reason they get those reputation is predominantly coming from the research or what we call knowledge creation part of their mission. I think this is a very good time because one thing good about India is you have access to multiple resources. Somebody comes to India and you get connected with Infosys or Wipro. They can connect with people and write very interesting case studies that can then be useful for the West. Now you've worked at Kellogg in the U.S., now you're working at INSEAD in France. What kind of reputation do Indian business schools have abroad? The top business schools have absolutely an excellent reputation. But many of the other schools are not that well known. And there is a perception that there is a huge variance in quality across business schools in India. But the top ones, the Indian Institute of Management, the Indian School of Business, the Accelerize of the world, the SPGN Institutes and others, they are all very well regarded and they are well regarded for one critical factor that is the quality of students at these schools in India. Any plans uh, that NCAD might have for entering India? See, our plans for India is to focus on executive education more than a full MBA program. And the reason is, at INSEAD, we like to have students from different parts of the world. So no single country is overrepresented in the classroom. Now, when you open a program in India, it would be predominantly the Indian students. And our Indian students would not benefit just by being with Indians as opposed to these Indian students when they come to Fontainebleau in France or in Singapore, they are in the classroom with people from different parts of the world and that adds richness to their experience. Okay, Deepak, thank you so much for thank joining you. us.